Mad Micah's Spring Fling Thing Collection. Can she soap it? One of my soap sisters and I decided to do a fun little collab. We wanted to create a drop swirl design in our soaps and use all of the colors from the Mad Micah's Spring Fling Thing Collection. Debbie isn't on YouTube, but I made sure to share a picture of her beautiful soap at the end of the video. I typically try to add as much to the oils as possible before mixing the lye solution. Because I didn't add many extras to this soap, all I added was the fragrance oil. I prefer to add the fragrance oils to the base oils whenever possible because I feel like that means it will be more evenly distributed throughout the whole soap. I don't have to weigh it out carefully into each color later and I really don't feel confident about eyeing how much fragrance I use per section of soap after it has been split. Also, because I didn't precisely measure out each color for this design, it would have been even harder for me to ensure the correct amount of fragrance was in each of the six colors. But when I add the fragrance to the entire batch, I know it's evenly distributed regardless of how many ways I split the soap batter later. This fragrance oil behaves incredibly well for this. I did have concerns later that the soap batter was a little too thin, but with extra blending and stirring, it all came together nicely in the end. This fragrance also retains very well on soap. It's one of my favorites from Nature's Garden.